how to de-access your infusion pump at home. Keep an instruction sheet at home to help guide you. Arrange the supplies you'll need. Wash or sanitize your hands. Put on a pair of disposable gloves. Remove a gauze pad and set it down on a clean surface. Unwrap a syringe filled with normal saline. With the tip pointing up, remove the cap and push up on the plunger until a drop of saline appears. Replace the cap and set the syringe down. Working your way from the pump, find the two clamps between the pump and the syringe connector. Pinch both clamps closed to lock them in place. The clicks tell you that the clamps are locked. Remove an alcohol pad. Remove the cap from the connector. Wipe the connector thoroughly with the pad. Pick up the syringe and remove the cap. Attach the syringe to the connector by pushing in the tip and turning. Flush the tubing by slowly pushing the plunger. Inject one third of the saline and pause. Inject another third of the saline and pause again. Then inject the last third of the saline and leave the empty syringe attached to the connector. Close the clamp that is closest to your body. Expose the port and its adhesive dressing. Gently peel the adhesive off your skin. Remove all of the dressing from the port area. Using your non-dominant hand, press the base of the port against your skin. Using your dominant hand, pull up on the textured handle. You'll hear a click when the needle locks in place. Set down the pump system. Press the gauze pad against the needle sight. Apply gentle pressure for three minutes. Place a band-aid over the area. Your pump is now disconnected. Be sure to clean up and dispose of your supplies properly. Everything gets thrown away in a sealable plastic bag, except for the needle portion of the pump system. Put the needle portion in a sharps container, or store it in a hard plastic container and bring it to Roswell Park to discard it. For further assistance, call the patient helpline at 716-845-2300.